up in Batavia, Illinois, and I started going to Chapel Street when I was in fifth grade. Whenever I come back here, I'm immediately pulled back to my roots. I feel like Chapel Street just brought me up in Christ and taught me about serving, and I think it's contributed a huge amount to who I am today. Those experiences started when I was really young, and they gave me opportunities to see people in different walks of life and really challenged me to think about my own life and how I could someday give back to local communities. While I was studying business, I was listening to this guest speaker and she was talking about homeless youth in Rwanda. And Rwanda all of a sudden just came onto my heart, like, Amanda, you're supposed to be listening to this. And I, I didn't know why, but since I was 12, Africa, this idea of serving people in Africa, I don't know why, but it was always on my heart. And so the second that I'm sitting there, I just, I knew. In 2014, I left for Rwanda. I committed to an organization called Hope for Life Ministry. In Rwanda, there's anywhere between 7,000 and 10,000 homeless youth. So our organization is focused on serving as many of those guys on the streets as we can. A lot of them on the streets, they have just enormous health concerns right away. And so we are focused on immediately getting the health better, then nutrition. Following that, it's trying to get them enrolled in school. So as you can imagine, getting boys enrolled in school that have been living on the streets is extremely challenging. For one, most of these kids, if they have been going to school, it was years ago, so we're needing to catch them up. And the second is just behaviorally, they need a lot of time and patience. So it's definitely a process, and it requires all of our staff members to be engaged and giving care and attention to these kids. And It's one thing to be able to give a kid food and education. However, if he has not worked through the physical trauma, the sexual trauma, anything that he's endured, it's not enough. One thing that Hope for Life does extremely well is our care for these boys. It's sitting with kids, knowing where their hearts are, and then working with them to heal them. And I continue to get to see so much healing, and it's changed me in ways that I can't even fathom. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful what God does for these little ones that now they're they go from such hard times and to be able to think about where they were, that's why I continue to stay. And God has just been putting on my heart, love your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and love others. And I've been thinking, love others. Why love others? And I think it's because God created us to feel joy in watching someone else's life change and joy in loving people. And I think our hearts, they feel so good when you can love. And when I'm in this home for boys, I have no greater joy. And I think God wants his best for us. And that's why he's asked us to love people and to serve them. That is where our joy is going to be found. To be able to continue to see these boys grow and heal and transform and to know without a shadow of a doubt their lives are different. It's been amazing to be a part of.